Let's simplify this Boolean expression using Boolean algebra identities. I'd rather translate this given expression into a notation that uses symbols. So I'm going to do that now. Um, this original expression can be thought of as where the nots are substituted with a tilde symbol, the ands, I'm going to substitute a star for multiplication, and the ors, I'm going to sub substitute with a plus symbol. Not a and not b and parentheses a or not b end of parentheses or not b with parentheses or not a with parentheses and not a. Now I'm more familiar uh, with my algebra rules from normal algebra as well as Boolean algebra. There's nothing we can easily combine right now with like terms. Nowhere do we have like x plus x that we can simplify to simply a, a 2x. But we can distribute. We can apply the, the identity distributive identity. Right now, uh, this term, not a times not b, can be, fact, can be uh, distributed across uh, this term right here can be distributed across this plus. So all of that times all the a, as well as being added to all of this times the not b. So I'm going to rewrite this exercise with not a times not b as a whole is multiplied with the a, but also as a whole, it's it's being multiplied with this not b. So to make it more clear, this was multiplied with this, and this was multiplied with this. Moving on to the, uh, I'm just now going to look at the right hand side of this. I could do this as a separate step and just rewrite this, but I will um, uh, copy this plus sign here and notice that on over here on this side of the expression, I can take this not a and likewise distribute it with this not a, but also multiply it to this uh, and then adding those two uh, products. So that looks like this. If I were to uh, um, do that distributive identity, these parentheses go away, just like these parentheses uh, were dissolved or removed. Again, to make it clear, this and this combined into this, um, you could think of that as uh, still having a multiplication symbol there. Just like this uh, term right here went against, was multiplied with this to result in this term. So all of that is true with this uh, property here, distributive property, where a times b plus c and you can think of the b plus c here as the a plus not b. The b plus c here was uh, not b plus not a. On this side, the not a was uh, to the right. But because of the commutative law, you can rearrange uh, things that are being multiplied. So you could think of this not a as being over here on the left with, with the set of parentheses. OK, so uh, I made a mess there of my color markers. And we can move on now. If you uh, would like to write your reasons for going from, say, this step to this step, you would over here in the right margin, you could write um, distributive. If a teacher or if your notes require you to keep track of 
reasons for um, being able to, to rewrite something into a different format. Okay, so what can we do next? By looking closely at uh, this expression, you have a not A times not B times A. Well, you can rearrange the, the A and the not B here. And that's by the rule of the commutative identity. And this not A, of course, can be rewritten. And uh, I'm going to just rewrite this term in the same format. Over here, I'm just rewriting this. As you see, that's really a multiplication there. So I'll be more clear and use a star. And then right here, that's interesting. It's a not A times a not A. So I didn't really uh, apply any Boolean identities here. Oh, I did. I rearranged this, uh, these two. I swapped those two. And so that is uh, the reasoning was the commutative identity. And now, looking closely at this uh, term here, not A times A. According to one of our famous Boolean algebra identities, when you have a, um, an operand A times its opposite right here, A times not A, the result is zero because a true times a false is, is a false, and a false times its opposite true would be a false. So this is really uh, the same as this. The times B is still there, but those two multiply with each other to be zero. Um, and right here, not B times this not B, according to another rule here, when you have something uh, multiplied with itself, right here, A times not A, it's equal to itself, just one copy of itself. So this not B times not B is, uh, can be rewritten as not B. Now this star should still be there. And I'm uh, rewriting this term for now. Uh, by the same reason that we combined this into this, I can over here combine two not A's into one not A when multiplied. So my, I used a couple rules identities here. Um, this, identi this identity right here, as well as uh, this one right here. Oh, I'm sorry. It was this one right here. The dependent and the complement identities were used in that step. Okay, next. Zero times anything. Zero times anything is zero according to the annihilator rule, rewriting this, oops, not B. Okay, right here, um, I'm going to factor out the not, uh, I'm, actually, I'm just gonna make things more <laughs> clear. It's getting kind of sloppy here. Okay, I'm not doing anything else here on the right-hand side. I'm just recopying everything. And uh, the reason for that zero was the annihilator rule identity. Okay, next. Zero plus anything is, well, the anything. Zero doesn't change the answer. So I'm rewriting all of this and uh, just ignoring that zero plus that we have over here. And that's one of these identities. It looks like it's this one here called identity. A plus zero is A. So identity. You know, all of this here on the right is kind of like A in terms of the A plus zero. But I'm just treating all of this as simply just A. Okay, moving on. Um, looking at this closely, well, if you were to switch these two around using the, the commutative identity, if you were to switch these two around, you really have um, a not A times a not B plus, well, itself. 
So think of this as A plus all of this as A. That simplifies to just one copy of itself. So I use the commutative property there to switch uh, these two. And then I used the, uh, the property here that uh, says A plus A is equal to A. So whoops. So this was commutative. And then this uh, dependent property or identity. Now, don't forget, you still have this plus not A here. I'm, I need to keep up with my scratch work carefully. So all of this original expression is, has now been simplified to this. Are we at the fewest operators yet? No, we're not. Uh, I look at this closer, and I realize that I can factor out a, neg uh, a, a not A. So the not A can be pulled out of um, the, the parentheses, if you will. And this is the distributive property in reverse, where um, kind of going from this right-hand side to this left-hand side right here. If you uh, don't understand that, just go backwards and realize that when you have, uh, when you distribute the not A with a not B, it turns into not A times not B, but then you have to plus not A times one. Well, not A times one is the same as just not A. So I factored out a not A. So what did that uh, get me? Well, not B in these parentheses plus one is equal to one. I still have my parentheses. I still have not A. Because according to the, the rule over here, I, the annihilator rule, A plus one is one. Anything plus true is true, whether A is true or false being ORed or added to one, it's always going to be one. So you can ignore this one, and you're left with a final answer in this exercise of just not A. And that was the annihilator rule that we used in that last step. So all of this original expression is, simp is simplified to not A. Um, if this were an exercise on an ACSL exam, because these operators were given in the original expression, I am going to uh, change the, the tilde not operator here, that wavy line. I'm going to change it to the not keyword, the word not, and that would be my final answer. If you uh, want to check your work, plug in um, zero, zero, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, all four of those ordered pairs for A and B. Plug them in up here and check what your uh, results are, what your final true falseness is from each of those substitutions. And then plug in whatever that A was for this expression and the same ordered pairs plugged in up there should work out to the same final answer for each of these four to be sure that you did correctly uh, follow the steps in the Boolean algebra identities to simplify that original expression.